We'll guide you through how to set and use any song as a ringtone on an iPhone. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. This is super cool to be able to do, as you may be bored of the current ringtone you have. So let's go and get started. First of all, we're gonna need an app. So the app we're gonna be using is GarageBand. So go to the bottom right of the app store and click on search, and you can then search for GarageBand and here it is. You may already have it on your phone as it is an Apple app. Now, before we get any further, we're going to go and need the song that you want to do this with, and you need to have it downloaded on your phone. I'm yet to do that, so I'll guide you through how you can do it. Open up a web browser, we can just use Safari. So a great site I like to use is called Pixabay. You can get loads of different music here. So what you can do is just go over to the right and we can go and filter it for music. I'll then just go and search like so. So browse through here, click on the play button to hear how it sounds. To go and download it, click on the download button over to the right and we can go and download it onto our phone like so. Now what we need to do is go and open up GarageBand, which we can go and do now. We need to go and rotate our phone. We can press continue there. Now what we're gonna do is press the plus in the top right. You may not even see this page, you may just see this here. Select tracks at the top and then select audio recorder. Then you can just go and give it permission, that should be fine. You can go and press OK in the middle there. First of all, go to the right of the recording button and click on that blue icon. Then go over to the right and click on the gear or cog icon. In settings, click on metronome and counting and you can just go and switch these both off like so and press done. Then go over to the right and click on the plus and in song sections, you can click on section A and go and set it to automatic like so and press done. Now go over to the left and click on the broken three lines just here and it will get taken to this page. And you can then go to the top right and click on the loop icon. And what you can then do is we need to go and find the song we got. So we can click on files at the top, click on browse items from the files app, go and find it. It should be in recent, but you can always go and browse it as well. Go and select it and it should then be added to the list here. It may take a second and there it is. And then all you need to do is click and hold your finger on it like so, and here it is. So click and hold on it, just so you can drag it right to the start, like so. You can make adjustments by clicking and holding on the start and the end point of the song, and then you can go and drag it to the start again. When you're finished making edits, you can click on the arrow in the top left, and you want to click on My Songs. Now, what you want to do is go and click and hold your finger on it, like so. And what you want to do is go and click on Share, and you can go and click on Ringtone. You may go and get this pop up, I'll go and press continue, that's fine. And you can then go and give it a name. It's done when you're finished and you can then click on export in the top right and that's it. You can then click on use sound as and we can select standard ringtone. And you can go and change it in your ringtone settings as well on your phone. Click on settings, you can then scroll down to sounds and haptics. You can then select ringtone and you can go and see it selected there.